Seance Teaching with Reverend James Tingley and John Lillick. So I'm here tonight. Wonderful. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes I am. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, Dr. Graham. God bless you, Dr. Graham. God bless you. Thank you. We will help you. God bless you. It was a pretty bad weather day. It certainly is. We'll speak just as fluently with the small crowd as we will the larger. Yes. Is that right? Yes, it is. That is the importance of it. That is true. That is true. I know it's okay to do the same. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mother Nipple. Good afternoon. How are you this afternoon? Wonderful. Just wanted to come in to give you a word of inspiration. Wonderful. And to help you, you. Uh, with your sermon. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. And undoubtedly you have the contents of what you want to talk about. Yes. Go right ahead with it, with the firm conviction that your message is always going to get across. Speak up affluently. Understand. And give a message of inspiration to them about this new age, the resurrection of the Christ. Yes. Yes. I always use one. I heard Jimmy say, and shame on him for forgetting that, Tony. <laughs> Understand. I always use the sower and the seed. The sower and the seed. There's one in the Bible. The sower went forth to plant the seeds of life, and some fell upon the wayside. Some of them fell upon the barren rock. It did not grow. Some of them fell where the sun come down and scorched them, and they couldn't grow. But there were a few that found fertile soil. That's wonderful. A few, just a few of the people, to find fertile soil, yes. and the seed would grow. The whole meaning of the Easter tide is the seed. Yes, is growing, popping forth from the good earth, from the bowels of the earth. Yes, the seed is showing itself in the manifestation of the stem and the plant. It is. There it is. Where was it before? Only beyond mortal sight. But immortally, it was there all the time. Yes. The sower and the seed. That's a wonderful, that is a wonderful sermon. I can say. And I hope you remember that. Yes. And you have my full permission to use every little sentence, every little thing I've said. Thank you, Mother Brown. You'll find it in the Holy Bible, too. Yes. Yes. There's a very deep message in that. Always. Yes, that's good. You like that one? Yes, I have mentioned that once or twice in the solar seed. The reap. Reap that and you keep going and replant. Do not stop. Well, you can't stop. Would you? As the seed produces so many that um, when no one knows what crevice it fell into. That's true. I can remember the story of the, the woman who said there wasn't anything to life here or life after death except the carcass. So well, they were moving her old body to the cemetery one day. And suddenly a big explosion within happened. She said there was no such thing as life hereafter. You know, a little seed had to fall into there. And after many, many years after that had been in the, in the ground, a tree busted that casket open. From that little seed that fell in the garden, proving that she was so wrong, it was funny. The mighty oak. The mighty seed. Yes. God bless you. God bless you, Mother. Thank you. Now go on. Now you have my blessings. Thank you. Let me touch you. That wonderful. Yes. Bless you in the name of Father, Son, and Mother. How are things going for you? Much better. Much better. I'm looking forward to giving the sermon. Trying to be as relaxed as I possibly can. 
the inspirations come right through at that time. You got your songs picked out? Not yet. Not yet. But I'm going to go and get the hymnal and look through it with Reverend Tina. Maybe he could help me too. He knows he's more fluent with it. I know he's more what they would. Oh, I like them all. I like that one. Sing them over the dungeon to you, wonderful words of life. Yes. You like that book? Yes. Yes. That would be a wonderful one right there. Yeah, I like that one. I like what a friend we have in Jesus. That's two wonderful hymnals that I What a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Like that one? Yes, and everyone knows that. That's wonderful. That'll raise the vibrations. Wonderful songs. Wonderful songs. And so appropriate. Oh, I think so. Yes. Wonderful. I worry about Reverend Tingley though tonight. And I don't know if he has these headaches. And Word. I know he should have come down for his treatment. I know, I tried. But it was a bullet. Yes. And it, it does, does it matter even if it's 3 o'clock in the morning? Of course it doesn't matter. I understand. I tried to get him down there. He tried everything, saying no, it wasn't necessary, he already had his. And, but in that science of it, he was giving more energy than he to Rosemary, too. That's right. That's right. He did good. I have no complaints against him. That was a wonderful seance. Wasn't time. that a wonderful one? It certainly was. They enjoyed it. It was beautiful. I believe Rosemary was in tears with emotion. And Rosemary is a very good man. That young girl is straightening out terrible. Yes. yes. Uh, she's thinking a lot of wrong things. Yes. You know her well. Uh, just from what I've heard and kind of what I've seen put together uh, about the drugs and uh, the temperaments, the moods. Pretty bad. Yes. Pretty bad. Yes. Just a waste, isn't it? It certainly is. If you can go in a positive motion, it's hung on that material life still. That's right. God bless you, darling. God bless you, darling. Now, get yourself studying. Remember the sower and the seed. I'm going to see you. Okay, I'm going to look it up for you. Wonderful. Wonderful. Goodbye. Thank you, Mother. Go to the meditation. Thank you. Thank you. I close in gratitude, in love, and in reverence for this divine teaching. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. One, two, three.